everyone myself dr valab chavla and today we'll be doing a case report on canal assessment using cbct so basically patient was referred for a cbct scan the lower right side for four seven region this is the tooth of concern so in a 2d radiograph the canal anatomy was not possible so uh, doctor had referred for a cbct scan so we took a cbct scan of the lower right side mandibular second molar region so this is a tooth of concern uh four seven so we went from the occlusal aspect to the uh, occlusal aspect to the apical one third region uh, so just to study this we'll arrange this along the long axis we'll arrange the line along the long axis of the tooth and along the long axis of the root so the tooth is now arranged along the long axis we'll just study this thing from the occlusal aspect going down towards the axis opening and canal orifice region there's the canal orifice region and going down this is the mesiobuccal uh, root uh, sorry mesial root and this is the distal root coronal restoration is present temporary restoration is present so some kind of artifacts may be seen but still canals are very well visible if they are not visible you can just uh, decrease the thickness to 0.5 mm and accordingly you can view the canals or increase or decrease the sharpness based on your preference so we can increase the sharpness also to view the canals okay so canals are well visible but also increases uh, increasing the sharpness will also increase the image noise so accordingly it's totally up to us how we can go ahead so basically this is the mesiolingual root canal this is the mesiobuccal root canal and this is the distal canal so this is the case of mandibular second molar with three uh, with two roots and three root canals the middle mesial canal is not evident it is usually present in the middle hence known as middle mesial but in this case it is not present so we can just delete this a middle mesial canal it will usually appear in, uh, appear as a faint radiolucent canal so basically doctor wanted to check the canal anatomy of the mesiobuccal root so this is the mes sorry mesial root so this is the mesial root we'll arrange along the long axis of the tooth okay so it is arranged also now we'll just take this blue line over here so that the apical one third region is well visible and uh, just so that this line does not get overlap with the canal we can hide the lines as well and you can just check it accordingly so this is the lingual aspect this is the buccal aspect this is the mesiolingual root and this is the mesiobuccal root canal this is the mesiolingual root canal so you can see from the coronal aspect or from the orifice region it runs down runs down and again it runs down there's the mesial buccal root canal and there's the mesial lingual root canal biomechanical preparation is not yet performed and hence canal debris may be seen you can just uh, just magnify this thing and just scroll it you can see there is union of canal as noted over here there's the mesial lingual meso buccal and see this point we'll just increase the line size this point marks the union of mesiobuccal and mesiolingual root canal and they unite each other or communicate each other to have a single common exit okay the common exit is seen over here you can just see it with you can also have a look at the magnifying glass so this is the common exit scene so now we'll see how it appears in axial cross section we'll just scroll down from the occlusal aspect to the uh, occlusal aspect to the apical one third region there's the mesiolingual root canal and there's the mesiobuccal root canal go down go down go down you can go down now you can see there is a perfect union of mesiolingual and the mesiobuccal root canal and as we go down again you can just see this with a single exit there's a single exit scene okay such type of scans require high, high dosage high resolution so you can very well appreciate it there's the coron uh, occlusal aspect there's the distal root canal going down distal root canal we can see it's clearly it's just a single root with a single fat root canal pdl space widening is seen in the distal root canal also one has to take care while root canal filling we have to take care of a certain things like you can see this root canal it is in very close relation to the lingual and the cut area so one has to be very careful while doing the biomechanical preparation and more of uh, also have to be very careful while doing the canal root canal obturation sealing part uh, with the sealer so that there is no apical extrusion of the sealer or the gut aperture otherwise it may create pain to the patient so you can just see this this is the mesial root and this is the distal root now you can see there is thinning and erosion of lingual cortical plate the lingual undercut area so there are high chances of apical extrusion of gutta percha or the sealer in the apical one third region hence one has to be very careful while doing the bi uh, biomechanical preparation and obturation okay so this is how it is seen uh, the canal anatomy is seen in all the three cross sections
to see the union between the mesiobuccal uh, and the mesiolingual root canal in these two cross sections that is the mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual sorry uh, a mesiolingual root canal can be seen well only in axial and coronal cross sections and less likely in sagittal uh, sagittal sections you can also study these slices in 0.5 mm thickness this is the 0.5 mm interval line and 0.5 mm thickness you can see the similar thing over here and same thing can be seen in uh, ax uh, sorry coronal cmpr view or the axial cross sections can be seen similar findings you will find here there is the mesiolingual root canal and there is the mesiobuccal and uh, going from the occlusal aspect to you can see this is the point of union between the mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual root canal to form a single common exit so, all right so this was everything about uh, canal anatomy uh, using cbct technology okay thank you so much